Hey, it's Ashley from Westcott, and today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate window light when working in a studio. For this shoot, I wanted to capture a photo that looked like someone was standing in a hallway and looking at a window. The problem was I was in a studio with plain walls and zero windows, so I had to get creative with my lighting and some printed backdrops to create a scene that I wanted. The first step to the shoot was setting up a backdrop to make it look like I was shooting in a home instead of a studio. To do this, I used two Weska X-Drop stands with the classic molding canvas backdrops. After setting up the first background, I placed the second background 90 degrees off of that first one. This gives the illusion that I was shooting in a corner of a room instead of in a studio. Building the set this way was a quick and cost-effective way to add dimension to my photo and make it look more realistic. Once I got the backgrounds up, I moved on to setting up the lighting. For this photo, I ended up using a three-light setup. Since I was aiming to mimic window light, I needed a soft light with minimal shadows. The first step to recreating this was to have a nice soft fill light to illuminate the scene evenly. This required a large light source. So to do this, I chose to boom a Westcott FJ400 strobe with a 53-inch deep umbrella with the white interior overhead of my scene. Since both my backdrops were 5 feet wide, the 53-inch umbrella was just the perfect size and not too large that it became cumbersome to boom overhead. Also, the white interior allowed me to get nice soft lighting to help with that window light look. For my second light, I used another FJ400, this time modified with a 24-inch beauty to switch with the white interior. My intention for this light was to highlight my subject's face while also providing a bit of directional light to help mimic that window. The 24-inch beauty was the perfect size to help make my subject's face slightly brighter than the rest of the scene. This helps draw the viewer's attention up to my model's face. Finally, I added a third light to the scene, another FJ400 with the Westcott Optical Spot. The Optical Spot is a unique modifier that is incapable of producing a very defined lighting patterns by projecting light through a lens. You can also use a gobo with the optical spot to help control and shape a pattern of light. Since I was going for a window light look, I used the Palace Window Gobo with the optical spot to get a window lighting pattern behind my model. When setting up the optical spot, I used a 50mm lens instead of the 150mm that came with the optical spot. This made it so the lighting pattern be much larger without having to place the optical spot farther away. I then used the lens to defocus the light and make it look softer and more natural. After I got the window pattern defocused, I still wanted the window pattern to be a little bit more subtle and natural. So I tried stacking the tree branch gobo in front of the palace window gobo. This made it so the lines of the window gobo were a bit more broken up. When playing around with adding the tree gobo, I noticed that the further away I put the tree from the window, the more out of focus the tree branches will be compared to the window. So I decided to place them further away just to add a little subtle effect. Adding this light helped add dimension to the image while also adding to that window lit look. With all my lights in place, I got to shooting. When directing my model, I had to lean as close to the background as possible without actually touching it. This way, it looked like she's leaning against the wall and we get a nice shadow behind her to help add to the effect that we were shooting in the corner of a room. Being able to analyze and break down different types of lighting is an important skill when doing studio photography. It allows you to recreate and mimic different types of lightings and look. A key factor to this shoe is being able to pick out the quality of light and you to recreate the window light look. Without having soft lighting, the shoot would not have that same classic window lit portrait despite being in a windowless studio. So this was a very fun shoe for me to recreate and if you enjoyed it too, let me know in the comments below and as always, thank you for watching.